What is up, guys? Sodom Nooms put back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today I have Reformatted R14 Commodus, the Septorian. Although I'm going to be calling him IW's Turmoil. And let's get a look at the box first and foremost. This is actually one of the older style boxes where you can actually open it and get a picture of the figure. Which obviously he's not there. But here's some artwork nonetheless. Reformatted Comatose, the Centurion. Side of the box. Uh, back in the box. And as you can tell if you have a keen eye, yes, this is a uh, retool of their Spartan. So, it's going to be a lot of um, Spartan comparisons for this. And on the side, normal stuff. Alright, that's enough of the box. I was going to the extras. Here's the card that normally comes with. And here are tech specs. If you want to pause and take a look at that. Although you probably don't, but here it is in the list. Here are a baggie of his accessories. It comes with um, a spare hand, which, you know, uh, if you, any of the comics, you know that uh, at, at some point he loses his hand and he uses the blaster he usually carries for that, for that said hand. But here's the hand anyway. And a few little lock-on pieces I'll show what that does later. And his instruction manual. And the instructions are exactly the same for a uh, Spartan. Or impactor, whichever you want to call them. And to flip this around, you get the comic book here. And this is a uh, MMC's own personal canon for their uh, renditions of IW characters. You can tell this is kind of an older figure because the way the art looks. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and to the side and get down to the nitty gritty. There we go. I've already taken the liberty of uh, just transforming him. Because uh, I, I'm, 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 I figure at the end of the day he's going to stay in his robot mode. So I, I, I figured when I transform him from here, that's where he's going to stay. So let's take a look at him. This is a lot of black. <laughs> I didn't know if everybody couldn't tell. But uh, it's not like a dark black like I thought it would be. It's more of a smoky color. And it's got these nice, cool, light blue accents, which really look great. And I'm taking the liberty of putting this at the con symbol right here. Which is accurate to the, the comic book. If I could have, I would love to have... Perhaps I may still do. I may cut the get another symbol, slice it in two, and have it coming over the blue line here. I think that looked really badass. And as for the alt mode, any articulation, he has it in the cannon here. He can rotate ever so slightly, but he's hindered due to the pistons. You can unpull, you can un, you can unhinder, the, unhook the pistons here, but I actually like the look, so I don't mind it. And the barrel can go up and down. That's pretty much it for articulation. As for his uh, molded detail, it's everywhere. As you can see here on the sides here. All through the treads here on each side. Vent holes here for exhaust. Even the trial blades here that look really good. Most detail. Although, in my opinion, I feel like he shouldn't have had these. Cause that's more of an impactor thing. Because, um... In the comics, much like Megatron, Impactor was a um, miner. Uh, uh, he transformed into mining equipment. And him having these uh, trial blades actually made more sense. Um, but on, on a good note, these can come off. So I, I may take them off in the robot mode. Yeah, so all, all this small detail looks really good. doesn't roll. But I'm, I'm fine with that. It's kind of how Impactor was. Underneath... Not too much to look at. <laughs> and the back here, it does look a little unfinished. But no one displays it from the back, am I right? As for paint, um, it's mostly comes through in accents. It's mostly just colored plastic, I believe. But there is a little paint here and there. Here's silver paint here. A light blue paint line for the energy trim here going through the chest. What will, 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 will be the chest? And a little bit here, a little silver here 
on the piston more light blue on the cannon which looks marvelous I may have to have my cousin Ninja Master K uh, hook this guy up with just a little bit of a uh, not much but just a little bit of maybe more just kind of blue colored paint on some of his um, extremity parts and here's some more silver right here but all enough in my opinion it's kind of enough to a degree I mean you know it it's true to call him. he was like this color now for a comparison Spartan or Impactor and as you can tell they're very they, they are very similar just one has more color than the other uh, now as for some differences that I've that I've, that I've, I've found um, if you come here on the sides of the feet well not well will we'll, we'll be the feet right here and right here he has more of these uh, design lines here while they gave him Impactor extra guns let's bring it in closer and if you're wondering about the smudges that's actually a little bit of weathering I've had my cousin apply to Impactor to differentiate him, differentiate him even more. So that's what that is. That's not MNC standard. Uh, let's see the differences. Uh, the gun in itself, <coughs> he has more uh, turmoil. Has more of a, of a uh, what we call this cannon? Uh, fusion cannon. More of a fusion cannon look. While Impactors is <laughs> like a better word, which is you know becoming a thing on Instagram and YouTube, a duck cannon. So, but but they both for the money, but they both move, which is good. Let's see other differences. Turn around. Well, let's see difference in mullet detail here. He has these sharp edges here where his knees will be, versus in patches that are more boxed off and clean. So that's that. Uh, chest are both different. His ha he has these these little nice little bars here, while M Turmoil does not. The shoulders are different. Or what will be the shoulders? So uh, yeah, there there are some small differences. Oh, actually, even in the gut area here, uh, right in here. Well, actually, I'm taking it back. It's not. It's actually the same. But the boobs here, <laughs> they're both different. The handlebars right here, and he's gonna have them. Well, that's basically it for all mode guys. And I have to say, it's days like this that I didn't decide to go on an all black background because this guy would be lost. <laughs> but that aside, he, he's beautiful. <clears throat> all black and all, black as night, black as pitch, he is beautiful. Uh, bring him closer to the camera and move that shoulder out of the way. There we go. Uh, he looks great. I, I'm actually kind of shocked that they went with the red eyes for his alt, for his uh, robot mode, because in the comic book he actually has a yellow eye, and I'll probably post some pictures here uh, <clears throat> somewhere around this area, you know, to show that off. But yeah, um, it's weird that he has yellow, red instead of yellow. Not that the red is bad, because it's very very nice. It's that real nice pearlescent paint, similar to Overlord, so it looks really good. Um, now getting down to uh, details. Uh, similar to tank mode, there's like some there's lots of mold detail all over, as you guys can see. I think it looks really good. <clears throat> I kind of wish I took a uh, since I took liberty with the eyes, I'm in the red instead of yellow. I kind of wish I took a few more liberties and maybe added uh, <clears throat> just a little bit more, um, maybe just maybe a little bit more silver paint some other places, like maybe in these vents here, where my thumb is on the side, or maybe put maybe did silver for the rivets. Just to kind of break some of the charcoal black up, but I'm nitpicking because I I I love this, I love this so much. Um, you can see here the blue the blue energy line that goes through his chest. We see the energy flowing through. It also carries over to his shoulders, which are really nice. And the shoulders too have uh, silver paint added. It's really good. There's another Subcon symbol. And there's more silver here on the back of the back of the shoulder plates, and these two can <clears throat> move a bit, as you just saw earlier. So you can kind of tilt those any way you want them. I like mine kind of like just sticking straight up, like so. But when you do that, you do kind of hinder his um, his arm movement. So I guess I guess you're supposed to have it tilted, so you can get that moving out of here. Oops, let's move like so. Now, as far as the articula as the articulation goes, <clears throat> I'm not. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry guys. Mm. Damn cold. Um 
I'm not gonna go super fully into it because you who know about articulation, just check out my uh, it's my older review of Impactor or Spartan. It's the exact same, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna spare you all that time wasting. But going back to his accessories, here's his gun here, which he can hold different ways. And here's the way it's one his one way he can hold it. And this is how he held it before losing that hand. I think at the hands of Drift. What was he did like at the time? I'm not quite. I don't quite remember. I mean, let me fix that. Here we go. It has two separate uh, handles here. One for here, and one for here. It's a bit away from the holding. But it's uh, it's hard to kind of keep the handle down. It's, it's kind of a, ah. You know what? There, there we go. That's kind of good enough. Although it's not pretty, he can probably hold it way better than this. But honestly, here's how I want him to hold it. Just go ahead and take this hand right off right now. And what you want to do is take one of these pegs that came with, well not peg, but a little holding piece of plastic. And you want to push this up right here, take this plastic, and put it over this right here. And it will hold it in place even better. All right, now you want to jam that into his empty socket, and voila! I think that looks so so good, and he holds it way better. Let's bend it out. Let's put him in a nice firing pose. I think that looks that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Full effect. Yeah, that's nice. All right, now, uh, if you look at the way it's cut here, you can even tell that this is actually how it was intended to, to go. Just uh, this this really nice slice how it's meant to just line up perfectly. As for some more comparisons, let's push them back. Let's bring back in our brother, our buddy Spartan or Impactor, so you can kind of fully. Get the gist of what, it, what I'm working with here. Now, now you can see how the bots do share a common body, but there's just no, there's just enough small things to really differentiate them that I do appreciate. And to me, when you even do a remold and retool, this is basically how you want to do it. Like here, let's see what I said before with the well, if I'm getting any closer with the knee pads. You have these sharper points. He's a more blocked off, you know, a la Mega Man style. Even the shoulders, you have these almost little, like these could be little gun cuffs. And him, uh, he has a little uh, plug holes for various weapons. So you can't actually different, yes, you can't take this uh, kind of here and put it on turmoil. That's a nice difference. Oh, and one thing you can do, which I actually do want to share. Let me move and pack it out of the way. If you take out Turnwall's other hand, let's see here, he can actually use Impactor's other weapons, like his drill here. You can plug that right on. And bam! He now has a drill. Although, make it look even better, let's take off the purple piece here and take one of Turnwall's black pieces. This way, he has more of a using look. And there. I think even that looks good. You know, if you want to give him a, 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 a drill interrogation arm, you're going to tell me where those Autobots are now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But I thought that was kind of worth showing. That they, do have, they, that they are interchangeable to that degree. Alright. I really didn't know who to grab, so I just grab the hodgepodge of a random different characters. Here he is with a uh, Roadbuster in the back here, Tarn and Rodimus. So here, here you go, you can kind of see how he scales or looks with those guys. And you know what? Oh wow, I didn't know how much bigger Roadbuster and Tarn were compared to him. But yeah. Oh, also one more thing, uh, worth, I think it's worth saying. Uh, there's, a, there's a certain panel in the comics <clears throat> we see that he can actually uh, retract the gun off of his off of the hand here or stump 
depending on how you want to look at it, because I think I think at a certain point they said where the hand was gone, but he can actually pop it up to here, which I'll uh, post a picture um, somewhere in this area, you know, and him doing that. I think that's kind of a cool display option if you. And here he is with his one-time subordinate deadlock, and now mortal enemy drift. Now for my final thought, it's simple. He's awesome. Go home. Nah, joking. But uh, nah, he nah, he, he's awesome. Um, if you enjoy the Spartan and the Packer mold, you'll enjoy this. Um, I think you might even enjoy this even more. For simple fact that the though not a whole lot of paint, uh, where the paint is, is mostly for accent purposes. It makes this thing look so cool. I mean, it's just a sight to behold. As for any negatives, it's probably the same negatives that Impactor had. You know, uh, just uh, honestly none. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I had to give negatives, I'd say transformation is not the most funnest. And that's really the only downside. Um, if I had to go back and give it, uh, if I could add any improvements to it, I would say maybe an ab crunch. But given how the figure's made, there's really no room for it. Or I could also say... Um, going here with the hands. I wouldn't mind having opening and closing hands. These are actually just molded. But like I said, well, this is part of an older design. But then again, this is an older figure. So yeah. All in all, if you like it, buy it. You'll enjoy it immensely. And this has been Sardom Numspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. Out here doing God's work reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out.